Roscoe is um, he's an artist, really still trying to find his voice, to be honest. Um, he dabbles in different mediums, from painting to photography to filmmaking, even to art. And um, he just really wants to just try to find his voice. He's been a natural storyteller since he was seven. And he's always been a person who just loves to tell stories. So whenever he can, or in any way possible, he'll just tell the story. And today we're telling the story through a uh, visual medium, which is painting, which are seen uh, right here, right here, uh, right here, and uh, right here. And I brought about like uh, seven pieces, you know, of different, um, you know, stories that in my life from Africa to, you know, a tranquil peace dealing with angels, basically dealing with like peacefulness, but also dealing with angels because I always had to think for angels. I don't know why. I uh, have always had a thing for masks as well, you know, because I feel like a lot of people use them in different aspects, you know, hiding their true emotions to feeling like they have to put on this persona, you know, which I'm actually kind of doing myself with Roscoe. Like, Roscoe was pretty much like my persona, and Christian is really who I am as a, as a man, who I've been for almost 33 years now. But Roscoe is mainly just the person that says the things that Christian can't say. And that's what I'm doing today. And which I'll also be doing by, uh, in June. <laughs> what the face? Nervous. The main thing is, it's like, when all eyes are on you, you feel like you can't like mess up, you know? You have to put on this, you know, I don't feel like you have to, but I'm a perfectionist. So it's like doing something like that is, man, it is, it's amazing within itself, but it's also very much terrifying because I'm basically being vulnerable. And being vulnerable is, in that aspect, I was talking about the things that I'll be talking about. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm not really, I'm ready for, but I'm not ready for it, if that makes sense. You know, it's like, Man, it's like basically, you know, they always tell you to picture people naked, you know, if you're nervous when you're speaking. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm basically unleashing who I am as a man and what I've been through in this show. And I'm just being completely vulnerable. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm ready for it. You know, I'm just nervous. And this one is actually uh, something that I created. It came from a dream. Um, I gotta... It's like um, my persona wrapped in, a, wrapped in a an enigma, wrapped in a story. And um, very few people might get it, but it's just something that came to me, you know, in my dream. And I just it was like, I gotta write. I gotta paint it. I gotta create this somehow because, you know, when you get your inspiration, you never know when it will come to you again. So it's like always good to just have like like a, a notebook or something by you to really like, you know, write that down. So when you have that sudden inspiration, you just go straight with it. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite pieces. Um, I originally um, released this. I released this one actually um, in my last show, which was entitled Breathless. So this was like the piece to kind of culminate the whole experience. I released it um, actually opening, opening night. And I might end up doing the same thing for this show, which I always like try to open up a, a dialogue, but also present something that I've been working on that may have something to do with the actual show, but it might just be something that came to me that I wanted to showcase. But this is called Black Renaissance. And as I was looking through, you know, a lot of my books and a lot of my research, I just saw that we didn't have any real depictions of us as black people during the Renaissance era. 
And even though the Renaissance era is one of my favorite eras, I felt like I had to, as an artist, kind of showcase what a Renaissance piece for blacks, well, for African Americans would look like. And this is actually the first of hopefully many more that I do. And um, I'm just happy to have a lot of the people that I, uh, I rock with, you know, shout out to Tesla, shout out to Q, shout out to Zanesha, you know, Shauna, Deja, Tesla, LaKayla, you know, they all came through, contributed somehow, some way, and they, this one is this, um, this one's called Mother Nature. So, in my studies and just with uh, looking at a lot of um, African um, pieces, I want to do my own depiction of who I thought Mother Nature was. You know, there have been many of depictions of who she is or what she looks like and things like that, but I wanted to take it back to kind of like um, going to the DIA, of course, you get those, those inspirations, but I didn't really see anybody who looked like African that was a part of like Mother Nature. So I feel like, you know, us as black people, we originated from Africa, of course, but we are the founders of this whole, this whole gang. And this is my depiction of what I feel like Mother Nature looks like. Um, it's a series called, uh, basically, um, so there's, I call it the African series. So this is done in oil with uh, gold as well, gold paint. So I wanted to accentuate her features, but kind of I did a little bit of cubism, which is kind of like a, uh, a homage to Van Gogh. And uh, there'll be other pieces that are like that that are spread around here. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's called uh, Mother Nature. experience being painted. Can you talk about it a little bit? Um, my first first experience being painted by you um, was interesting because we had to find the location. That was one thing. Yeah. Uh, getting to the location was a different adventure in itself. It was cold. I had it not look cold. Please take um, your time The supplies was fun. Collaborating with you about like what concept we're trying to put together and mixed media together was always fun. Um, I enjoy that you kind of let me also put in my perspective of how the piece might look if I if you combine a different art with a different like medium, pretty much. Um, and for my first time being not painted on my body but like put on a canvas, that was fun to see. And then going to the gallery to see myself, you know, I'll be so that was interesting. <laughs> so it's fun. Just as a model to 
be a muse. I'm pretty sure, sure that's our goal. Of course. At the end of the day, is to be someone's muse. So to actually be a muse in a campus that someone can buy and have in their house in not a creepy way <laughs> is always fun. So would you like better, uh, better being painted or being a, a runway model? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's a tricky question because runway is my life. It's my bread and butter. It gives me the what I need as a model. But um, I think they're actually pretty even because to have someone be like, I want you to be the medium, the muse, the, the image of this thing is pretty big. So I'm going to say both. I'm not, I'm not going to. It's a trick question. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Oh, would you do it again? Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting to do it again. I'll take it. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But thanks again. I appreciate you for being my muse. Of and course. definitely we're going to do this again for sure. So. Look forward to it 2024, 25. 2024. Different colors. Let's do it. All right, beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course. So being one of the the pieces that are outside now, can you talk about what it, your experience was like? Um, so it was very, very nice. Um, I actually got photographed quite a few times and then I turned into a painting. So <laughs> it's very different to actually see myself as a painting rather than just a photo. And which one do you prefer between being a model on the runway or being a muse in a painting? Which one do you like better? A muse in a painting because my feet don't hurt as <laughs> I'm walking down the runway. I can just stand there, he's gonna paint me, I'm gonna look nice in this seat. So when you saw yourself as a uh, on the wings of desire piece, like what went through you? Like what went through your mind? Like what were you feeling? Um, blessed because when you're a muse, it's very different than everyone taking photos of you. You're actually a photo. So it's very different for me. Okay. Uh, would you do it again? Definitely. Okay. Love to be a photo. <laughs> I appreciate you for being my muse for Wings of Desire and definitely there will be other paintings in the future and apparently you're doing a movies as well so you need to you know come out of retirement a little bit I'm not in retirement but I'll be there cool thank you so much I appreciate you